Okay, so we now have all of our parts in the project here in scene one, including the instruments. And what I've done is I've got a rough idea for the first two minutes of an arrangement, which I've created here in session view with the clips. And then we'll go and add the instruments in later once we've got the idea into arrangement view. So to get it in, all we have to do is make sure that we're at 1.1.1, which we are. We can then arm this using shift and click, which is going to arm it, but it's not going to start playing until I hit record or hit play on a scene. So I'm going to do it from this scene here, which is where I've started my idea from. And we're going to play out all of these parts. Okay, so I'm just going to speed this bit up so you don't have to watch me play out all of the scenes. Uh, all I'm doing is literally just playing one scene after the other. And what we'll do is we'll show you how the project sounds at the end once we've sorted the automation. Okay, so there we have our rough arrangement. And what we're going to do before we start adding in the instruments is just get a few core parts in there. So I'm going to put in an EQ free on the master. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in a dropout section here. So I'm actually going to do it either side. And this means that our EQ is on at this point. And when it's on, it's going to have a kill switch turned on. So the low is going to be cut from it. And we'll start it off at zero. And then what it can do is if we show this in new lane, we'll start it at zero. And we'll go up to around 180. And we'll come back down again. You can see I've gone to the wrong point here come back down to around 60 and then we'll curve it up to around 180 again maybe a bit more okay so let's just make sure we get those parts labeled so we don't forget them And now we can look at adding in our instrument. So I'm going to go back across here. We're going to grab all of our instruments, shift and tab, and then we're just going to drop these where they're supposed to go. And then from here, we can use these as building blocks and decide exactly where it is we want these to go. This one is a dud, which was from when I was demonstrating the bass stab. The bass stab is going to be once every two bars throughout the track. The synth can be throughout the track as well and the ARP because we're going to modulate these and automate them, bring them in and out. And then our pad can start on 49. And so can this pad. In fact, what we'll do is we'll have this pad come in a lot earlier and it can come in really slowly. So let's just see how some of these are sounding. So this is actually a bit too much. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly tidy up the project and get rid of some of these empty clips that have come across from session view. And then we'll look at doing some very quick automation and some filter movement. So we'll start off with our synth. We'll go down to around 200 hertz. 11K, 10 or 11K. And we can also do something similar for our pad as well.
So we've got a gradual entrance there. And then the higher pad can also come in like that as well. And then we can see we've got some gains here just to make sure these come in gently. So the final thing to do is just a spot of parallel compression. So I've got a parallel chain set up on send return four. So all we have to do is play the track at its busiest point, which will probably be around here. In fact, before we do that, there's one more thing we've got to do. This will just help us build a tiny bit more tension by taking some stuff out just before the drop and then it can release when it goes back in to the full track again. Okay, so we just finished off the parallel compression. So we'll let it play this busiest part. And we'll just push up the parallel compression on a few parts such as the kick and maybe a few other parts as well. The last thing we'll do it for is the synth. Okay guys, this has been Studio Slave on behalf of ADSR covering the update for the ADSR Sample Manager and how we can use multiple instances of the Sample Manager to put together a techno track. Thanks for watching.